What's up guys? Today we are going to play Star Wars The Old Republic Onslaught MMO for the first time. The first thing that you want to know about this game is the fact that um, it will automatically detect your video capabilities and it will adjust the video settings for the video graphic card best performances. What I mean about that is that it will set up the display uh, resolution at it, its maximum and it will actually not crash your computer because yeah it's not supposed to do that but it will uh, not work proper properly from the first uh, couple of minutes of the game like in any other MMO first you need to choose your alliance and to create a character that will have some let's say expertise and it will be able to choose from different classes like i'm going to do i'm going to select an uh, as a seed from the seed and let's see how that will play out along the game okay we choose the mail option and yeah, I will speed up a little bit the things from now. Inquisitor. The power of the dark side grows. The Sith Empire has won a major victory against the Galactic Republic and its Jedi Guardians, conquering and enslaving many new worlds. With a fragile peace in place, the Empire sends its slaves to ancient Sith stronghold of the Korriaban, hoping to unearth relics of vast power that can be used to dominate the galaxy. One slave, powerful with the Force, has been released from servitude and forced to master the dark arts of the Sith or die trying. I, I think we are the slave. Okay. last one to arrive is finally here. I hope you don't think you're special. It would be a shame if freedom went to your head. Or if you somehow got the idea you didn't need to pass your trials to become Sith. Lord Zash has tasked me with sorting through you, Refuse, to find one worthy of being her apprentice. And I intend to do just that. 
well it looks like we have multiple choices to make so that means that this uh, NMO has multiple storylines or at least it wants to look like it has I don't know I'm going to select uh, them almost randomly to see how that will uh, go on forward yeah give us a chance we can prove ourselves. We'll just see about that. Now the rest of you gutter trash already know your trial. Get going while I bring our latecomer up to speed. Watch your back, friend. And don't worry, it'll be alright. He can't kill us all. Well, this is really funny. Let's uh, flirt with her. Thanks. That means a lot coming from a beautiful girl. <laughs> You're cute. Just watch you don't get yourself killed. Now, slave, for your trial. There's a hermit named Spindrol who lives in the tomb of Ajunta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Spindrol's a lunatic, but Lord Zash sees him as some kind of prophet. Once you find him, he will test you. Even that the cinematics are not so great, the multiple choices is uh, really funny, so on. The more challenging, the better. But there. You know your task. Spindrel lives in the tomb of a Junta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Don't keep Spindrel waiting, slave. Okay, first we need to change the resolution because the writing is very small. Yeah, here we are. Also, I'm going to speed up the part of the walking from one mission to another because at the beginning, uh, the walking uh, on the map is very boring and takes a long time that's something that it's really standard for an MMO at the beginning and that's from my opinion it's the worst part on playing MMOs at this point also I'm getting a lot of uh, tips uh, about how the game works what are the NPCs how to pick up items and what is the story parts what are available only for me or for other persons and uh, so on yeah we got to Srinda ah an alien acolyte unusual but not unexpected the Sith are not friendly to your kind but that will be an advantage I think you are here for your trial, yes? Learn the ways of the Sith from a doddering old man in a tomb. And hopefully to return to your master with the mark of my approval. This is not strange at all. Yeah, at all. Yes, my lord. That's right. Of course it is. I know the way of things on the surface. But before I answer either way, you must pass a trial of blood. Survive, and I will teach you what I know. Believe me or not, this is also kind of boring because you feel like you are in uh, Fred and Barney and you have a bat and you just uh, uh, smash the head of the others with a stick. Yeah, like in uh, the Stone Age. Yeah, it's not really pleasant at all. Yeah. Excellent. These former acolytes wanted nothing more than to earn their second chance for glory by killing you and taking your place. But your desire proved stronger, and their blood became the mantle of your victory. Well done. But you are not Sith yet. 
Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. This is the Sith Code. Commit it to your heart, and you will have the strength to crush your enemies. Do you understand? Of course. I was born to be Sith. Good. Then go. Return to Harkon and nurture your hatred for him. And use your fear of him to grow stronger. He may raise his fist to strike, but it is Lord Zash who determines where the blow will land. But who controls Zash, I wonder? When you know the answer to that, you will have power over both your masters. Now, go. Leave me to my rest. Well, it looks like we have to run away back from where we came, so I will speed up the things again because it's really boring. Yeah, you will notice that when you go to the camp, you will also get a lot of tips about the monsters and about the other things that are available in this game. And you will play a lot of Fred and Barney uh, with the initial moves. When you die, it looks like you have two options. Uh, get a medical probe and uh, resurrect at the location where you are or uh, go directly to the medical center where uh, yeah, that's like going to teleport you to the nearest city, I guess. One other thing that I noticed is the fact that we are not getting back from where we came from. That means that uh, the location where we are going to now it's different than the location from where we got initially on the map. I don't know uh, if we are going to go back to the initial point at some point, but uh, I hope that it will not uh, limit our uh, options on driving through the map uh, at some point. Okay, I see that we have also some NPC, uh, also the items that uh, have only uh, 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 cash value, so they cannot be used for other purposes. They have written that about uh, below them. That's really helpful, especially if you are new to this game. But uh, yeah, time. we'll have to see. I see that we have uh, the best also different the kind best of prices. armors for uh, from medium to light. Probably there will be some heavy bargain. armor. But uh, I see that they are really expensive. Even uh, yeah. Usually at the NPC, the armors are cheaper than uh, uh, you would expect to. But uh, yeah, I see that uh, we actually don't have enough money to buy any type of armor from this NPC. I don't know if that it's because we follow up the main uh, quest, but uh, we'll have Come to see. Anytime. I also see that we have um, some emails because it's with the green and uh, it seems that we get some uh, packages with uh, the initial game and the title. Okay, let's see it. I opened one of the boxes. It seems that it's uh, some kind of uh, outfit for us and the second one it looks like it's uh, the outfit but it's not for uh, let's say the current uh, team in which we are I, or at least uh, I, this it's how it looks like yeah I see that we got the title but I don't know from where to select it I uh, hope that 
it will be possible to select it. I see that we have a lot of uh, options that are paid with uh, real money. That means that you can enjoy this game, but uh, at some point, if you want to be above other players, you will need to pay some money. Yeah, and I see the title, and of course, we cannot set the title because we don't put any real money in this game. That's kind of lame from their, uh, from my opinion, because this is quite an interesting game to play. But if uh, at some point you'll uh, be uh, very constricted by the game, you'll not enjoy it uh, anymore, and uh, you'll have to uh, abandon the game. And I think that will be a pity. Finally, you arrive. Hmm. As disgusting as Overseer Harkon said. Regardless, Lord Zash has made it clear that all new acolytes must learn martial skills as well as face their trials. Though why anyone thinks you can be taught is beyond me. I assume someone a bit more learned will be instructing me. Someone with a bit less pull, you mean? Not for all the credits in the world. You will find the instructors in the Academy's archive. Hurry, and try not to embarrass your betters. Well, it took me a little bit of time to figure out uh, the map of this city and find out the location where I need to go to learn the skills. So I speed up a little bit the things till I got to the right NPC and uh, Start the, the learning process. At last, a worthy disciple. Like you would expect, the sprint is not available till level 10. So I still have a lot to go to get the sprint, which will allow, allow me to move faster uh, through the map. Again, I had to speed up the things a little bit till I got to the next quest location because, yeah, it really takes a long time. So, this is like the four times the normal speed of the game. Ah, the last one. Always the latecomer. Now we can see what the hermit thinks of you, slime. Hmm. Acolyte Cory. Step forward, please. Yes, Overseer. You are a weak, pathetic rodent, and even a lunatic like Spindrel can see this. And that means. <coughs> Meet our newcomer, Fawn Alt. This is real Sith strength, and he will tear you apart and crush your bones, slaves. Look on him. No connections left in the world but pure Sith blood. This, this is Lord Zash's future apprentice, not filth like you. We'll see how tough he is out in the tombs, alone, with just me and my blade for company. Step this way, slave. I want to speak to you privately. to me. Spindrel is a lunatic. His approval means nothing. You are filth, and you will die. Is that clear? You think you scare me? You're nothing, and don't forget it. Now, your second trial. Lord Zash has requested a special trial for you, which you will no doubt fail. Go to Inquisitor Zinn in the jails. He will fill you in on the details and, most likely, hasten your demise. I'll be there in but a moment. I don't want to see you again until you're back from the jails. That's all. This dude is uh, garbage. 
yeah, he's really acting like he doesn't give a shit about me. Acolyte, you've arrived. And not a moment too soon. Hakan has given me very specific instructions. You were raised as a slave, but must discard those traits and learn to control others. And I have just the task for that end. Meet this dribbling excuse for an acolyte. He will be your victim. I don't much like the sound of victim. I personally prefer the word subject myself. But most people can only comprehend my work in crass terms. A short while ago, there was what we call an unauthorized murder here in the academy. A rivalry among apprentices resulted in death. Interrogate him. Make him tell you who committed this crime at any cost. I'll see what I can do, but I won't torture anyone. Already you are a disappointment to me, Acolyte. But Harkin said nothing of torture being a requirement, so I will not restrict you. Well, it looks like we are going to have to make this dude talk. Please, don't hurt me. I don't know anything. It's all right, Aleph. I just want to talk. Yeah, right. I know what you want. And I'll tell you right now, I don't know anything. I can't help you if you won't trust me. Why should I trust you? You can't help me. You can't protect me. Even if I did know something, I'd be dead. Or worse. Look, if you don't want to talk to me, the Inquisitor will bring someone else in and they will make you talk. I want to help you. What? Why? I, I don't understand. Why don't you just torture me and get it over with? There are better methods than torture. They really did pull you out of the slave pens like the Inquisitor said, didn't they? You aren't like any Sith I've ever met. I'll tell you what I saw, but promise me that the murderer will get justice, that he won't come to kill me. I'll do everything in my power. As strange as it sounds coming from another acolyte, I appreciate that. An apprentice named Esor Kayan. I saw him murder his victim outside the library on the second floor. Listen, his master's incredibly powerful. He won't let Kayan be punished. Kayan will kill me. You let me worry about that. Thank you. I hope you know what you're doing. You don't have to tell me I heard the name loud and clear, though I sorely wish I hadn't. Esau Cain. Cain's master is a Dark Council member. I'd be a fool to oppose him. But anyway, your trial here is done. I will send my commendations to Overseer Harkin. You may return to him now. What are you going to do about the murderer? Nothing, although the apprentice's master will have to be informed. It's not my business to dispense justice, certainly not where the Dark Council is concerned. You're a coward, Inquisitor. I am a living Sith. I intend to remain that way. Concern for matters that are not your business is a weakness that will get you killed. I suggest you eliminate this undesirable trait as quickly as possible and forget about this acolyte. So you're just going to let yourself be bullied? And what would you suggest? I don't have the power to oppose a Dark Council member, and neither do you. Still, there has to be something you can do. You are persistent, aren't you? Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to keep him here while the master of the murdered apprentice pursues justice. Perhaps they can be made to believe that the Acolyte hasn't been broken yet. I don't care what you do. Just do it. Fair enough. I'll requisition some guards to protect him. You have a most unusual approach, Acolyte. Watch it doesn't get you into trouble. We'll have to see how that will go. Okay, let's go back to the other NPC and see how this will play out. Well, well, well. I had been looking forward to cutting another one of you down, but it looks like I'll be spared the trouble. Unsurprisingly, Nylock has gone missing. Also, unsurprisingly, Fon has passed his first trial. It's only a matter of time before he tramples you all underfoot. I'll tear you apart where you stand, slave. Patience, Fon. An accident in the tombs is much more convincing. Now the lot of you know your next task. Go. I want to speak to Fon and our latecomer. 
Now, slave. Zin says you handled yourself expertly, and as much as I find this difficult to believe, Lord Zash is satisfied with his evaluation. Undoubtedly, Zin helped you in some way, but you will not have his help on the next trial. Both you and Fon will have trials of intellect, trials that test your ability to apply your understanding of the Force to solve problems. You don't expect a slave to be a match for me in intellect. I've been trained under the greatest teachers. Calm down, Fon. I certainly do not expect this slave to be a match for you. That's why you will have separate trials. Truly, your generosity astounds. You're only digging your own grave. Fon, you will go to the library on the second floor of the Academy and translate the following texts for Lord Zash. Yes, Overseer. Slave, deep in the ancient, monster-infested tomb of Marka Ragnos, there is a holocron filled with dark secrets and encased in a great stone monument. No one has figured out how to release the holocron from its stone prison in over a thousand years. You will bring this holocron to me, or you will die. Well, it beats going to the library, I suppose. Spoken like the idiot you are. You will bring back the Holocron, or hope that the spirit of Marker Ragnos himself returns to end your miserable existence. Now go. Well, there is a long way till there, so we had to take a taxi, and yeah, it looks like this. And even so, it still took quite a while to get to the location. So I will cut another part of the video in order to make it a little bit uh, shorter for you. And here we are. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to try a second time. That calm is necessary. Okay, maybe more than a second time. Perhaps a little blood will satiate you. Well, it looks like the blood is not an option too. Just open, damn it! Okay, I think this is it. Let's get back to the end. Wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. <gasps> Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? You're heartless, Harkon. How can you be so cruel? I am Sith. Something you will never be. 
Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? Stop with your taunts and give me my next trial. If you wish to prolong your life, you will not make demands of me again, slave. Now for your trial. The last, darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. Is there a reason you keep sending me into the tombs? Lord Zash's research is her own business, and no one else's. You're not fit to know. Any other stupid questions? Don't you just hate how the sand on Korriban gets in everything? You are begging for death, slave. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave! I love the way he acts when he gets angry. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. And thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Bye!